Good day. My name is Shimon Lawton and I work for Mancosa School of Education. The COVID-19 pandemic has changed our reality. The spread of the virus, mainly through droplets from the mouth and nose, forces us to change our social interactions, including those of teaching and learning. Due to the socio-economic inequalities in the South African context, quintile one to three schools do not have the necessary resources to switch to high-tech remote teaching and learning. Over and above this limitation is the capacity and the readiness of some teachers as technology skills were always seen as a tool for the ICT classroom. But COVID-19 has thrust all educators into this uncharted territory as we look at how to effectively teach and learn remotely. This webinar series will focus on building and fine-tuning tech skills of educators throughout the South African context, from those with none or limited tech skills to those looking to refine their ability to teach remotely. We at Mancosa School of Education believe that the challenge brought about by COVID-19 pandemic should not result in children from deprived environments being left behind. It is with this in mind that we have gathered together professionals to equip and train our teachers to serve our communities meaningfully during this time. The Mancosa SOE is proud to be a partner in this essential initiative to equip our educators and enable them to adapt to this changing environment. Good day. Today we start phase three of our webinar series. We are focusing on episode one, where we speak about Google Sites being used as a platform for educators. We have with us an expert in this field, Lauren McNabb. After studying at University of Edinburgh, Scotland, Lauren went on to teach all subjects at the elementary grade levels. She spent five years teaching in rural schools in southern Scotland and then moved to Dubai to teach at our Etihad Private School. She currently serves as the curriculum coordinator from grades one to five. She is studying um, for her master's in education with a focus on teacher leadership. Lauren's passion for education keeps her at the forefront of global strategies, including technology and education. Welcome, Lauren. Hi, Shimon. Today I'd like to share with you the key features of Google Sites for use in the classroom. Google Sites allows teachers to share materials, games, resources, YouTube clips, activities um, through a simple and easy to build website. Google Sites is completely free. All you need is a Gmail account um, in order to be able to create your Google Sites. But Gmail is also free to set up. Google Sites, when used effectively, can connect us with our students and their learning and really help us to build and create meaningful and impactful learning experiences. It's also a great way for us to connect with parents, for us to share information, newsletters, vocabulary, all these things. I've been using Google Sites for a few years now as a teacher and more recently as a curriculum coordinator, collecting and gathering um, evidence of learning that's required of me from my school. So hopefully this is useful to you. Um, we're gonna build a very simple Google site step-by-step -step, and then I'll show you one that I have used in the past with my students. So as I said, in order to be able to create a Google site, the first thing that you need is a Gmail account. You need an email address that is with Gmail. Once you have that and you go to Google, you can log in to your Gmail account. Then at the top of your Google page, you'll find these boxes. In these boxes, you'll find all of the applications that Google provides. So we're looking for Google Sites. If you're setting up for the very first time, Google Sites may not be there. So if you click more from Google, you will find it there. Okay, this is the one that we're looking for, Google Sites. Now, 
if you want to, you can choose a, um, a template or you can create a blank one from scratch. That's up to you. I'm going to create a blank one from scratch. Okay, the first thing that you need to do is name your website. So let's call this um, learning demo. Then this is just like creating a document to begin with. So the, the title of our homepage might be e-learning demo. Okay. On your homepage, you can insert any of these four things. You can insert a text box. You can add an image if you want to add an image. You can link things to your Google Drive or you can embed. So anything that's a URL or a website, you can embed. Embed is the feature that you would use if you were sharing YouTube clips or videos. Pages is where you build your website. So our homepage is e-learning demo. If you click on these three dots beside e-learning demo, you can add a sub page, which means it adds a page within a page. So on the new sub page, let's say it's our map page, okay? So now you have a sub page just for math. Now say we were studying multiplication, for example, you were studying the three times table. What you would do is you would go to YouTube search for something appropriate that goes with the three times table. Okay? And then what you want to do is click on this share button and you want to copy this link. So copy the link and then if you want to share this to your math page on your Google site, you go back to insert, embed, and share. Okay? Then you're going to insert that. Now, to change the size, you can use these dots. So that when students go onto this page, it's there for them and they can just play it right from your website. They don't need to worry about going to YouTube and finding the link and all these things. Okay? If you wanted to add a three times table game, Same thing. Okay, here's a little quiz. Do the exact same thing. Copy the URL from the URL bar. Embed. Paste. And insert. Now, see you have that you want to share with the children to do with the three times team. With Google, you automatically get a Google Drive account. So what you can do is you can link activities directly from your Google Drive account. So if I click on Drive here, I recently uploaded a three times table activity to my Google Drive that I wanted to use for this website. You click on it. And it will show up on your page. So far we've looked at a video, a game. The children can come on and play this directly on the website. They don't have to go and find it elsewhere. And an activity. If the children want to complete this, they can screenshot it and complete it on their phone or their tablet. If you would like to change the theme or the color or the font style, you do all this in themes. If you want to think about what your 
your Google site looks like as you're working, you look at this button here. So this button is the preview button where you can preview your website. So if we click on home, this is where we start. It's e-learning demo. And then this little drop down menu here gives you the other pages that you've added. So remember we added a sub page for math. And on our math page, we're focusing right now on three times table. Within each of the sub pages, you can also add another sub page. So if you wanted to have math, and then within math have three times table, you could do that as well. So this is what the children would see when they log on. And you can see that they don't have to go anywhere, they don't have to find anything. Everything just works because it's been embedded in the website. Okay, and we want to end the preview. Now this hasn't been published yet, so I haven't shared it with anyone. When you're finished and you're happy with your Google site, you're going to click on publish. You can go back and edit it afterwards, don't worry. When you publish, it says it's been published successfully. In the drop down, um, in the drop down menu, you can view the published site. You can share or you can copy the link. So if you copy the link and you wanted to send it to your students via WhatsApp or email, when they go in, they will see your finished and published site. So here we are in that. And then here's the things that we just added. So that's the basics of adding things to a Google site. If I go back to my own Google sites, a look at the ones that I've done before so I was teaching grade 4 English at the beginning of this year so this is um, how I used it in my classroom now this has been published and it's been shared with my students but because I've opened it in Google Sites it opens again in the editable version which is really helpful because it means that you can change material or add material um, or you can have a weekly dashboard where you share what's happening that week. So this is what my site looked like for my own class in grade four. Within home, this was the story that we were studying at the time, which was Antarctic Journal. Okay. And on there, I would put the school newsletter, the focus wall for this story. And then within Antarctic Journal, I added extra pages. The first thing that led them to the story so that they could read it at home. And then we had information about the reading skills that we were working on and a YouTube video. I'm not sure why that one's not working now. Then we also had other skills that we were working on in the classroom. So these were the vocabulary words. This is a game that the children can play to practice their vocabulary and so on and so forth. So this was a working um, Google site that I was using with my students. Thank you so much, Shimon. It's been an absolute pleasure working with you again and sharing Google sites with everybody. Hopefully that you find this helpful and hopefully it's something that you can use to connect with students and parents. There are many other aspects of Google that I also find very useful. So I would really recommend that you go on and you explore once you have a Gmail account because the opportunities with Google are really endless. Thanks again, and I'm wishing you all the best. Thank you, Lauren, for those amazing tips on Google Sites. I can't wait to get going myself and being able to use it as an educator in my classroom. Thank you. See you next time.